Last week, my daily driver broke, and I was forced to drive the E30 to work, and that made me realize some of the best mods that I've done to the E30, and what I recommend all E30 owners do to their car. All that in today's episode, my name is Ryan, this is Project Race Car, let's get into it. Now, I've owned this E30 for about a year now, uh, and I did a couple like mods to the steering and the uh, suspension and just a whole bunch of different things. I tried to touch as many parts of the car uh, as possible. Naturally, I just did the seats. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. They look fantastic. They're amazing, so I'm super happy with them. But um, let's talk about the first mod that I actually did. It's a little bit stormy, but... Um... The E30 is looking great. Again, I love the how the seats came out. They make the E30 look so much nicer. Um, it just pops with the black interior and just looks fantastic. So the first mod that I actually did uh, is from Condor Speed Shop and it's this uh, steering rack, uh, the steering column. And it's just a long straight tube that um, connects the steering rack to the steering wheel and in a stock e30 uh, it comes with a rubber bushing in there and over the 30 year time frame uh, the rubber bushing just gets really really worn out and it makes for really sloppy steering so i would recommend doing that as well as the second best mod that i love about the car is going with the z3 uh, short rack um, the steering rack it has been nothing like but amazing um, it shortens the actual steering uh, ratio for the e30 and it makes it feel like the small car that it is uh, the steering is now insanely tight and uh, it follows every single move that I actually make with the car when I first got the e30 uh, it felt like a boat it was all over the place um, the steering was off and once I did these two mods the steering feels amazing it's insanely tight and now the car actually does what I want it to uh, and it follows just every single move uh, if I touch the wheel uh, and turn it just a small little bit it'll you know start swerving so um, I highly recommend it. I saw a couple people who didn't recommend it unless you're doing track stuff, but I still love it even for daily driving, even just all of it. It's been a great, great mod and I highly recommend it. Third mod without a doubt that I would recommend is the BC Racing Coilovers. Spend the money, get good coilovers. They are 100% worth it. Fully adjustable, the camber, the freaking height, it just looks amazing. It lowers the car and, you know, the car just looks fantastic now. So I would highly recommend doing BC coilovers. Um, the car just feels like an animal uh, on the things. It feels just so planted. Um, it's a little bit aggressive, but at the same time, like, if you're not fully daily driving the car, then they're 100% worth it. Another thing to really help the steering out is getting a smaller steering wheel. Uh, the diameter of the original E31 is just so big. Uh, and again, this is a very, very small car, and I highly recommend uh, doing that as well. Um, and making sure that you have the right steering wheel size uh, for the car. Uh, I think that this one is 350 millimeters, which is like 14 inches, so it's a lot smaller of a steering wheel but it, it makes sense with this small car. Car is really messy right now, but I highly recommend doing uh, a couple of interior mods like painting, uh, I spray painted the carpet in here and it looks fantastic. It used to be gray and uh, had a bunch of stains on it. And then I highly also recommend uh, getting new seat covers. Uh, I just got these from lseats.com. Uh, it took me like a good 20, 20 hours to install them, but I can't be happier with how they look. Uh, so the black on peanut butter, I would highly recommend just, you know, spending some money, making the interior really, really nice, and you guys will not regret it. I hope this short list helps you out. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button as it helps me out a ton. 
And until next time, my name is Ryan. This is Project Racecar. Have an amazing day. Peace.